I think you're going to see Canelo and Triple G maybe fight um, both of these guys after this fight. Uh, one taking on one, the other one taking on the loser, winner and loser situation, and then fighting in September. You know, maybe they do a, a double uh, um, fight in May, and then they'll they'll rematch in September just to stretch it out. But I, come on, people, what else would be stopping this announcement? May is not that far. What do we got? Four months? Four months till May, Lee. Why haven't they announced the rematch yet? Uh, they're not worried about selling tickets to a fight that big. I don't. I don't. Know. I don't know. Look, I'm already getting announcements. This, this I'm already outcome. getting announcements about you two in May. So I don't then, know then why then you wouldn't try to sell out your event as early as possible. As early as possible, get get start getting your promotion um sponsors. Excuse me, your sponsors in right. Start selling yeah. the fight. That's Look the at, one thing I could not handle with uh, the Zanfer promotion last night. Jesus, David, they allowed, they just hoard out the sponsorship of that fight. Yep. Lemieux, big ticket seller in Canada. I could easily see him and Canelo doing big numbers. And then Billy Joe And by Sanders the way, I was just huge. corrected. It's what? Victorville, then Barstow. There you go. Lancaster is worse. Lancaster is going out and up into the desert behind Santa Clarita like I'm going to Northern California. It's famous for where they used to land the space shuttle, right? That's out in Lancaster. Other room. Lancaster's where we used to land the space shuttle, right? It's that shithole desert-ass town. <laughs> so people might be, might be getting a People listening into the other room of this telecast. Um, Radiation might be coming in uh, with that fight. Dude, you don't understand. Lancaster's a legit shithole town. These are crazy-ass white people with bad tattoos. I don't go there. It's where they, it's where they filmed uh, peop, uh, Eyes in the Hills. What was that scary it's movie? Definitely, where look, dude, it's definitely <laughs> Deliverance for California. Yeah, the I hills mean, have there's eyes. definitely banjo playing movie, white Lee? people. Ugh, awful. Awful, awful, <laughs> awful place. They're doing nuclear Lancaster, testing. Lancaster, Jesse Vargas. What are you thinking? Dude, like I said, you didn't fight Cotto. He didn't fight Cotto. He's a, dude, whoever makes his business decisions is stupid right there. You're done. You're done. Good luck. I hope you do good. I'm sure PBC is going to use you like they did Robert Guerrero. Hmm. He's going to probably fight Spence in his next, Dude, <laughs> next Lancaster. year. Lancaster. And, and make half what he would have made against Cotto. Lancaster. 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 I, I'll say it again. Dude, you're fighting in Lancaster instead of being the middleweight champion. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Spence Jr. is fighting Lamont Peterson. Lamont Peterson is a nobody. He's an absolute mm. nobody. Do you know how big Spence would have been right now with a win over Kell Brook and a pay-per-view victory over Miguel Cotto? Do you know how big he would have been going into 2018? These are bad decision moves, but whatever. You guys, hey, Like you said, Lee, he's the boxing whisperer or whatever, Al Heyman. You stick to that then. He is, because he can write checks to from an imaginary account that never seems to end. Like, I don't even know how they're still in business. i got to be perfectly honest. Well, I will tell you, he's cut back the, the payouts a lot. ESPN, Dan Rayfield's been all over that. These PBC payouts aren't what they used to be. He's, and maybe that's why they're fighting in shitholes like Lancaster, Lee. They're trying to get it on the cheap dime, right? Um, Dude, that's crazy. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the PVC because I have heard nothing. I, I know the top ranking Golden Boy lawsuits were thrown out. We got that. But there was also a lawsuit within the, the, the business. The, the guys that were putting money into the portfolio wanted to take their money out because it's not getting a return. They don't see any return coming in the near future either with the PVC. Lee, anyone who's been paying attention knows that the PVC has not gotten one contract off of this last two years. Who has come up to the – when have we ever seen an announcement where it said ESPN just signed PBC for the next three years like they did Golden Boy, like they did ESPN? Fox Sports, all of the big ones that they were on, NBC, Fox, a, a, what happened to all that? What happened to it? It's gone. Uh, now he's on Bounce TV. Now he's on what, – what other stations on there? I think they do do a Fox Sports every once in a while, but not – Fox. Remember when they were on Fox? Yeah, I do. They got nothing out of that. All of, dude, 
Quitters. Quitters. I quit. Well, are you going to quit on the uh, Raiders if they lose today to Kansas City? No. No. What I think happens today, look, I told you people last week when Lee told me we were going to lose the Giants. I believe this team You almost messed- did, by the way. Nah, yeah, if that was the end of the game, we were done. They were done. We are coming together again. Everyone knows each other now. See, they were having growing pains this Lee, this year, Lee. There were some guys that it didn't, weren't connecting because they didn't know each other, really. Now they know that this is the best team they've ever been on. This is the best quarterback they've ever had behind them. They're starting to mesh again. I think we're going to have a blowout today, Lee. Or Kansas City gets this. It doesn't really matter because all of you have to play us one more time. And if the Chargers Chargers are in the best position, nobody wants to play the Chargers right now. Oh, my ribs hurt. You just hurt me, Lee. Ah, What the hell is going on? You don't match up well against us, dude. Dude, yes we do. Your secondary is a joke. What are you, 32nd? You're 32nd in the pass? (laughs) L.A. is going to be our home. If we are 4-0... When we go into L.A. to play you guys in the last game of the oh, season. Oh, no, I expect you to be the home team when you play yeah, in L.A. Yeah, we're going to be the hometown team in that game. Yes, sir. However, if the Chargers keep winning out their schedule, it might be a little different. It might be 50-50. It could. The, the first game it was 17-16 that we lost to you guys. I, I believe we missed a couple of field goals in that game, too. The Chargers-Raiders are always a close game. I think in San Diego... I think the char- the LA char- uh, LA Chargers, yes, have a chip on their shoulder every time they walk out of that tunnel and see nothing but black. I think it really turns them off, Lee, and the Raiders dominate the Chargers in Southern California every time, and I expect that to be the end of the year. This is this is about these next three games. KC, Dallas, Philly. If the Raiders can come out of that with the winning record, go into the postseason, baby. Point it. All you got to do is type in fightnetradio.com. It'll take you to our Facebook page. Comment. Have fun. Then click on sign up. There you go. Vasily Lomachenko, how high do you have him on the pound for pound ranking this morning, Lee? He still doesn't make my pound for pound list. Whoa. Okay, I would put him on there. He's not top. He's an also mentioned on the top on the pound for pound. But look, I didn't buy into Rigandow being on the list. I don't buy into him being on the list. I never even bought into uh, Roman Gonzalez being on the list, as you recall. Yeah, no doubt. I, and, you know, I I'm the guy who kept trying to understand how how Klitschko wasn't considered the pound for pound best fighter, considering he was champion for ten years and was never even top three or four on that list. Yep. Ten years. If I'm champion of the heavyweight division for 10 goddamn years um, and I'm not making the pound for pound list, there's a problem. You remember when everyone was scared when these Cuban defectors started uh, coming around? You had Ezra Landi Lara, Luis Ortiz, Guillermo Rigandau. Everyone thought they were going to take over the sport. Lee, oh, here come the Cubans. They're, they're getting out of the, the, the island. Where do these guys have become? Little overrated as pros, maybe, huh? Do you think? They didn't take over like we all thought they were. Had uh Rigandau had the best career out of them all, but really never never took over the sport like was was predicted. Lara, decent career, but no, he's not a superstar, didn't make millions. And Luis Ortiz is still hanging there, but with the two failed drug tests, even though one of them was medication, just a bad look. Just a bad look. Um, I know a lot of pe- average fans last night were not happy with that fight. There was nothing I could say, but because Lee, I told him what I told you. I thought it was going to be the, the biggest little man fight we've ever seen, and I should have I should have followed that up with. But he is moving up two divisions, so don't put too much on it. And I didn't. I didn't, and people started calling me back like, "What the hell is this?" And I, hey man, sometimes it's just boxing. This is what happens. I, I will tell you if I would have heard. Rigandau's interview with ESPN before this night, I, there was no way I would have ever picked Rigandau to even perform in this fight. This guy sounded like someone who already wanted to go back home. He he made four hundred thousand dollars, Lee. He wants. He, I think he wants to go back to his family. Did you hear? Both his mom and dad passed away. He couldn't even go to their funerals. Like, what was he in fucking prison? 
That's a shame, man. Go to fightnetradio.com. Hit our Facebook page. Hit the like button. Comment on some of our comments or posts. And click the sign-up button and you can listen to the show. You can find an effective way to listen to the show. Uh, Of course, we're on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, YouTube, uh, iHeartRadio. We're all over the place. There's plenty of places to listen to us. Uh, We're all big fans of you guys being fans of our fans. We're fans of you being fans of us, I think. Well, I don't. I, I mean, I got to be honest. Andrew likes it a lot more than me. I don't. Um, I just do the show to entertain Andrew every week because I believe that he would drive his his lady and his kids crazy if she was the only one who had to, like. Does she ever get tired of like listening to you go on? Oh rant? yeah, I know she does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She right. I, Lee, I complain about calls on football that have nothing to do with the Raiders. Because I know what the NFL is doing. They're fucking with us, Lee. You you ever notice on big national games? Funny. Have you ever noticed on national televised games how these calls are so screwy? I think they do that setting us up for the playoffs. So when they got to rip someone off in the playoffs, they can immediately go back. Oh, you remember that Thursday night game in week number 12? And everyone goes, oh, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, they did rob that guy. Okay, well, it happened again, so you can't blame us, right? Oh, fuck them guys. I know what they're doing. I tell Christina that all the time. (laughs) And lastly, uh, we'll end on this. Uh, Happy 53rd birthday to Billy Wright. Nice. Heavyweight boxer. Is he still fighting or did he 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 retire? Look, he's not going to get a shot. He wasn't going to get a shot. He won all the WBC... Outside belts. I know. I think he made I it know. up to 13 ranked. Look, Deontay's never going to give him a shot. He's a real heavyweight. You're not going to... Look, there's no way you're going to give a shot to a legit heavyweight who's got one punch knockout power. You can't risk that. Nobody is going to make that mistake again. We have too many historic situations from George Foreman on up of allowing bigger, older guys who are smarter into the ring with one punch power to come in against younger, sharper opponents. I I remember watching the George Foreman fight when that went down. You know what, you guys? I got another one that to- tells you you knew this fight was lopsided when it started. He's not. Did anyone hear Rigandow say, "I'm already a legend"? Vasily's trying to be one. That's a, not a good statement to have when you're going into the ring. Remember when Barrera? Look, said I don't that mind Pacquiao? him buying his own hype. That's not that bad. No, but remember when Barrera said that about Pacquiao? What happened in that fight? <laughs> he quit, right? True. He goes down, he looks at his corner, and he's like, yeah, I'm not getting up. I'm done. <laughs> Sometimes, you guys, you got to see what these fighters are saying out of the ring. And you'll know mentally they're not in it. And I truly believe last night, Guillermo Rigondeaux was waiting for his check, man. 400 thousand dollars the most money matter of fact on tuesday they said lamachenko i told the um espn commentators that on tuesday lamachenko goes i don't even think he's here to fight i think he's trying to get a payday it's the biggest payday of his life he moved two divisions at 37 lamachenko wasn't stupid he knew <clears throat> class act though stop it with that lamachenko is not a class act lamachenko doesn't respect fighters lamachenko He's kind of a uh, Prince Nasidis, Nassim Hamad a little, right? Now, don't tell me he's got classy. Dude was disrespecting one of the greatest amateur boxers of all time. Putting his head down, going behind him, throwing the little pissy shots at him, right? Don't give me that class act bullshit. He's a good fighter. He belongs on pound for pound. But come on, let's put him under the fire a little, people. Unify. Fight someone in your own division that's top three. Move up. Fight one of the champions. Stop with all this. Uh, I need Nicholas Walters to move up. Oh, I need Guillermo Rigondeaux to move up. Andrew, oh, what? Jace, Andrew, Jason 10 o'clock Sosa last night. A... Hold on. Andrew, at 10 o'clock last night after the fight, were you online putting um, yeah. com- negative comments about Vasily Lomachenko's fights? I'm looking at them right now. They're just popping no, no, up no, no, in no. my Facebook feed. Not negative. What, what, what comments the class, are you talking The class about? act thing that made you go ballistic. 
Well, I just put class act with the question mark. Like, seriously, come on. That, there was no class in that ring last night on either guy's hand. Dude, one time. Oh, Rigondale, no. Rigondale, Rigondale was the biggest douchebag of the night. Yeah. He threw.